She will be placed on two years of probation. It will be traditional probation, though that is not the recommendation from the probation department. They recommended that she be placed on the lowest level of probation. I do not agree with that, um, as her crimes would mandate, in my opinion, a higher level of supervision. What's up, Royals? I'm yours truly, King Chris. Welcome back to the conversation. This conversation takes us to Cleveland, Ohio. White woman stole $250,000, gets probation. Black women stole $42,000 and gets 18 months in prison. Cleveland, Ohio judge sentenced Black woman to 18 months after pleading guilty to death. She was a high school secretary that pocketed more than $42,000. The judge said during an August the 3rd sentence hearing that any motions that her attorney filed, that he would go along with them and look into them as long as there was a plan put in place. On Tuesday, the defense attorney said the same thing that he said during the sentencing hearing that his clients, Ms. Hopkins, had undergo mental therapy counseling, gambling treatment counseling, and she went through a job program placement. Once she get a job, she will begin to pay monthly payments for her $42,000 death debt. Pled guilty to a felony of the third degree. There's a possible sentence of up to 36 months in prison. There's also plea control sanctions. The lowest amount of time that the court sends you to prison will be nine months. The court is going to sentence you on this sole count, theft in office, a felony of the third degree, to a term of 18 months court is going to order that you pay restitution in the amount of $42,673.72. The court is going to order that you pay the state auditors for the expenses here. The cost of the Dan DeRose with 19 News here. Uh, we're going to jump in as the judge wraps up the sentencing here because we've got some other breaking news to get to. But you heard it right there. 18 months in prison for stealing $42,000 from the Maple Heights school system. If any of you were watching yesterday, Chagrin Falls defendant uh, guilty of the same crime, but to a total of $238,000 in that case, she was able to make up all of that. She used her pension and was able to make up all that money. In this case, uh, we have uh, Carla Hopkins who took out her pension and spent it before it could be used for restitution. The judge took that into account. Yesterday's case at $238,000 stolen, repaid, the defendant got probation. Today, the money is not repaid. In this case, for Carla Hopkins, she gets 18 months in prison and still must pay back the rest of that money. We're going to wrap this up. Well, let's break it down, right? So, the white lady stole much more money. She stole $200,000, $50,000. She took her pension and she repaid the money back. The black lady stole $42,000. She took her pension and she did not pay the money back. And she gets 18 months in prison. Is the sentence fair? I will say actually, I believe that the sentence is fair. I don't believe the mental issue with the black woman I don't believe that she was mental. Gambling issues, I understand, and I get gambling. You went through a job placement program, but you took your pension that was about $20,000. What did you do with it? Most likely, she withdrew it, put it into another account, and put someone else's name on the account. I really think that this Black lady thought that she was going to get away with it, and she does not think that she should be 
accountable for what she stole. The white lady, yes, she did plead no content, but she did pay the money back. I think the black lady is exactly where she needs to be. So after the story got out to the media, the judge said that he didn't want her to go to prison. He wanted her to stay in at the jail and they will have a hearing on September the 13th. And then he will make a decision whether he will send her to jail for those 18 months or not. I think by September the 13th, if she's not able to pay half of that money back, I think that she deserved to go to jail. Take some type of responsibility for what you did. I think the black lady thought that she can yell mental illness and she could get away with it. I don't know, but I think that this was just to serve and I think that the punishment was equal considering that they did two different things. The white lady took her pension, she paid her money back. The black lady took her pension and we don't know what she did with it. But she did not come to court. She did not pay not one bit of that money back. And then the black lady took from an inner city school that is considered to be one of the poor districts. So, Royals, meet me down below at the comments and let me know what you think. My black and brown skinned people, I love you guys so much. Please remember, stay up, stay up, never down. Until we meet again, may God bless.